Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review the Monster Honey Barbecue Flavored Slim Jim. I got this at the Patriot Store, part of um, the VA hospital, you know, in the basement area. Because, you know, they had, like I said, the Patriot Cafe. And I got a couple stuff at the Patriot Store. Why not? And I'm also going to be including the Alp, do a re-review of the Smithfield Farms Hot Spicy Pork Rinds. This was a dollar... I mean, this was uh, two twenty nine, and this was a dollar and nine right here. So let's go ahead and try both. I'll do that thing for the re review here. Uh, Smithfield Farm. I did this in two thousand sixteen. So you choose, and the blue rim of pork rinds are uh, exclusive fifty year old recipe is a family secret, yielding delectable pork rinds with a rich golden flavor, a great bacon taste, and natural country crunch. And all the while, Smithfield Farm are, Farms uh, premium pork rinds of zero carbs and zero net fat. Or zero trans fat. See, I'm tired. God, I, I'm having trouble. I was having trouble sleeping. When I said exclusive 50 year old, I almost said exclusive filth, filthy year old. Smithfield Farm is a name that people have loved for ages for great old fashioned country taste. You can count on that same blue ribbon quality and great. Country flavor, country taste, and every bite. Let's open these up first. Zero total carbs for serving. Premium country taste. What is this made out of? Huh. Oh, Ohio. Cool. Wapa, Kinetic. Wapa, Kaneta, Ohio. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that powder gets to you. It's really good. For most part, I'm trying to remember. Lost seeing Look at that giant one. These aren't bad. Sometimes they have, they pretty much all taste the same kind of, but. Has a little bit more elevated uh, heat to it. A little bit of dryness. Um, these are still pretty decent. I give these an 8.5 out of 10. It's Smithfield Farms Hot Spicy Pork Run. I think the ones that had like the Texas Pete powder, which were the best I've had. One time they have a pop because it's so dry. You dry your throat out and then you end up choking to death. Okay, let's try the main thing. Honey barbecue flavored. Monster Slim Jim. Watch. Has monster in the title. I bet you Pet Monster and Monster Chick will comment. I'm not, I mean, I'm just going to put monster in the title. I'm not going to put their hashtag. They're, they're the ones who created Create Not Hate, but I'm going to put in the hashtag. I want to see if they comment. Because there's monsters in the title. Just a guess. Just a guess. It would be funny if they did. I mean, well, I mean, it's cool if they do. They're always welcome to, but I want to see if they did cut monsters in the title. I say, did someone say monster? Maybe. Watch after I made all the big production, they don't comment. But if they do, they fine. If they don't, fine. Okay. Honey barbecue monster slim jim. I don't think they ever had a honey barbecue Slim Jim. I mean, you definitely taste the honey in that. It's weird because I did a sweet hot one at Punxsutawney. Somehow I script the recording, so if I find it, I'll have to buy that again and review it again. 
That's one of the reviews I had to scrap because I, when they, it was on for like a few seconds and the camera shut off or something, I screwed up. I shut the webcam off. I don't know how. It's really good. Very new to play. It has more spiciness than anything else. You know, there might be a more of an overtaken by the honey, but it has a spiciness to it, too. Honey barbecue flavored uh, Slim Jim is really good. I give it a, I give it once again a what, 8.75 out of 10. This is Slim Jim 10 out of 10, but these, these are still really good, though. So I hope you like this review of the, re-review of the Smith Farms, Hot Spicy Pork Rinds, and the Slim Jim's Honey Barbecue, or the Honey Barbecue Monster Slim Jim. So until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion.